Thank you, Lord. We just want to thank you for today. We give you all the praise for this is the day you have made. We'll rejoice and be glad in it. Thank you, Father Lord, that you have made this day possible. Thank you, Lord, for Kingdom Gospel Church, 16 years of your goodness to us. Who could have said? People would think, oh, maybe the numbers are not there. They would have folded up for now. They won't say they had the prophecy one time that after five years, six years, they are going to close up. But Father, we are still here to the glory and praise of your name. And it has to be you. We've never lacked anything, Lord. But Father, we thank you that what you are going to use this ministry to do, Father, now globally to your praise, not to any for to any of the God. Father, I'm, I'm, I'm just grateful. I just want to thank you, Lord, that you have been good to us. You have been gracious. Only you be all the glory to you, only be all the honor or the adoration in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I bless you. We glorify your holy name, Jesus. Thank you, Father, for all you have done and yet to do. Be thou exalted, be thou magnified, be thou glorified, my God and my King, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you. I bless and I glorify your holy name. For an awesome time in your house today, Lord. Speak to us, O oh God. Do your own thing, O oh God, in our lives. In the name of Jesus. Be thou exalted, be thou glorified, be thou magnified. It's not the women's time, O oh God. Lord, we heard your word yesterday. It was Friday, the first day start, starting, O oh God. And your, your, your minister came up, and oh God, your, 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 your servant, your son, O oh God. And charged us, O oh God. Father, Lord, the men have had theirs in the morning today. Father, it's now, Father, and oh God. With the highly graced women, oh God, we are here at your feet to hear from you, Lord. Father, speak to us in the name of Jesus. Everything I'm going to do today, Lord, let it be to your glory and to your praise. That no man will take the glory in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank and I bless your holy name. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen and amen and amen. Can, can we still hear me? I can get somebody. Hallelujah. Yes. Yeah, you can hear me. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we bless your holy name. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you for that. Because I was going to share my slide. So the topic we've had for today is blessed for this for the conference. So we're having this three days conference started yesterday, and I'm just so grateful how God started us off. The men have had theirs this morning slash afternoon. Now is the women that were just going to be talking, but I just want to share this briefly with us today. Blessed to be a blessing. The, and the scripture we took this from is Genesis 12. We'll come to that. Being blessed as children of God means we have a special favor. There's a message, there's a benefit from God. We have the blessings of liberty. We are free. Hallelujah. It's a favor or gift that God has bestowed. That, that it gives that God has bestowed upon us, thereby bringing happiness. Blessed to be a blessing, what does it mean? It refers to the fact that God has blessed us and he desires for us to bless others as well. I want to come in here now. When the man of God was preaching, pre pre he said, when God has blessed us, not for us. So I was like, what? He has blessed us so that we can be a blessing to others. If we go to Genesis, let's see where God said it here. There, that's where the core uh, scriptures we got this um, theme from. So if we we'll open our Bibles to Genesis chapter 12, I'm going to be reading from verse 1 to 3. Amen. I'm reading from the New King James Version. He said, Now the Lord had said to Ab Abram, Get out of your country, from your family, and from your father's house, to a land that I will show you. I will make you a great nation. I will bless you and make your name great. And you shall be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you. And I will curse him who curses you. And in you, all the families of the earth shall be blessed. And the people are saying that the Bible is not, a, 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 you know, they were written by ancient people. This is still the blessings of Abraham we are enjoying today. This was even when his name was still Abraham. He said, I will bless you. Come out. 
I will make you a great, great nation. Your name will shall be great. You shall be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you. He said, I will bless you that you will be a blessing to others. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I will make verse 2. I've just emphasized that verse 2 again. I will make you a great nation. I will bless you and make your name great, and you shall be a blessing. Hallelujah. So God is blessing us. God promised to bless Abraham. Abraham at that time is accompanied by further explanation. So you know this blessing I'm going to bless you with. And that's our God. He will give you an assignment and say you the why and the implications. Bless you to be a blessing. His blessing of Abraham is just a first step in a much bigger plan to extend that blessing through Abraham to all the earth's purpose, people, to the people of the earth. This was just a starting point. I will bless you. And God did not stop there. And I want you to be a blessing. Hallelujah. So how many of us are enjoying the blessings of God today? Those days when I used to talk about blessings, you're talking about money. Ah, God, okay. You want me to hire? Okay. So give me the money then I'll be able to share with other people. Let me get a lot so that I can be able to share. Hallelujah. It's not just in, 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 in your money. Those talents, that, those abilities, that word of wisdom. God has given to you. People come to you for advice and you're just talking. And it's just, just like this person has wisdom. How do you, how do you just come about this thing? Immediately the person, is, don't, not that even you heard about what they said before. They just come to you the first time and you are just like dissecting the whole. That's, that, that's a blessing. And you're blessing others with you. God has given you that wisdom. We're talking about the gifts of the spirit. God has given every one of us his children gifts and talents. So when, if I, when I was thinking of it today, I was in the, in the shower, I was thinking of the message today and God, you know, Holy Spirit reminded me of Cornelius as well. Cornelius was not a Christian when he was giving alms. He didn't even know the God that did. But it was just a blessing to people. And God said, no, I cannot, there's no way I can let this one just go. This one has to be in the kingdom. So Peter, go quick, quick, quick. Go and preach my word to this man. Hallelujah. He has to know me. He was doing things as if he was just, a, you know, charitable things, giving arms, you know, praying to the God I didn't actually know. But God said, this one has to be in my kingdom. Hallelujah. Because he was blessed. He had the things and he was being a blessing to others. I pray today, if I want to, also in my, in, in my right up here, I say I often I often do this whenever I say whenever you stretch your hands. Look, I'm stretching out my hands now. You are reaching out to other people. That's when you'll be blessed. A closed fist cannot receive. So you are closing your hands to others, then you cannot receive as well. But as you open your hands, as you open your hands to people, as you lend to people, those are the hands God is blessing. Suppose I will raise our hands to God. Yes. So you are raising your hand to God. That hand is also pointing to others for you to be a blessing to them. Hallelujah. A closed fitted hand will not be, you are, you are tight. You are, your, your hands are not open to people that you will not receive. So please, God has blessed us so much. God has blessed us so much. There are so many things. And God, the Holy Spirit took me to the, the parable of the talents as well. The one he gave five to, he traded with it and made ten. There was one that had two and made more. The one that had one, he said, okay, even this one talent. So I saw that there was multiplication because they used the talent. I'm giving you this. So that talent, that ability, they, they, they multiplied it. because they, And God blessed them more. And when he came, oh, wow, you made ten more. Okay, the one that's even from the one that didn't have much you know that that first place in the bible is they say for they that i don't have even what they have will be taken from them because you are saying you don't have so that means you're making more people about god you are telling god that he's not his word is not true because there's no mistake in god even the ones that are well like oh uh the bet was a mistake we, they were not expecting this child or whatever nobody's a mistake with god every one of us have talent okay the thing you say you don't have okay even the little you have i will take it 
He saw through the Bible when God was blessing for he said, What is that in your hand? He told Moses, What's that? He says a rod. It's just a rod. But that's 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 something there. Put that rod on when he was going when when he was facing uh, Pharaoh. Put that rod on the floor and let it turn to serpent. And of course, there was imitations and all of it, but the rod of uh, Moses swallowed the other rod. You might just say, Oh, what do I have in my hand? But God is asking us today, what do you have in your hand? What have I blessed you with that you can reach out to others? Hallelujah. Blessing is not just just like I said, not in money. It can be your time, your effort. You know, I remember then when I just um, I just passed my exams. That was one thing I told God. I said, God, this exam is it, it was quite difficult in the time. That's over ten years ago, and a lot of some of my friends had to relocate because it was just too tough. They were failing it and all of that. I said, God, when I pass this exam. Lord, I will go all my way to help others. I will go on my way anywhere they want me to. My colleagues that are coming up, the younger ones, the ones that have not done the exams, I will reach out to them. And you know what? God, I think God likes challenges like that. What are you, what is it? Is it he needs for my people? And that was what happened. And I will told God, I said, we, before the examiners there, as they are telling me I've passed this thing and they are giving me my paper, I'm going to kneel before them and say, thank you, Jesus. That day was like a drama there because the, the, then we used to go to the place where we have our uh, college here of the of, of where we, we, just, we used to go there and collect our results and all of that. As they were taking me to the room, I thought maybe the people that failed because there were two rooms. So they called two of us. My friend was going to, and I saw the professor, the place he was going to, those are the ones that come back, so they passed. So as they were taking me to this other room, I started shouting, ah, God, I cannot fail this exam. Jesus, Father. And they were like, come in, come in. You did very well. Well done. Look, I had A in this particular one that's so tough. And I was looking at them, I was dazed first. As they were looking, I said, I passed. Yes, not just pass, you pass very well. Well done. As they were still talking, I just got on my knees. I said, I knelt down, I said, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. They said, No, it's you, it's not, it's not anybody else. It's not G I said, you people don't know, it's not me. <laughs> I almost was preaching to them there. Oh, you've done very well. Don't worry about it. Why are you kneeling down to this person? Or maybe we believe I just said. Thank you, Jesus. I lifted my hands there. I, all of them were saying, I didn't want to hear, because I know they were saying, it's you, it's you, you did your best. I carried my paper. From then, everyone, they will come to my house. I will give them all the things I read, everything I know. Don't worry about this section. This is the things you need to concentrate on. I remember then, even on Sundays, when we were not even, I was the only one singing in the choir. I'll tell my husband, please. After I finish singing, there are some people now, even as far as Morpheus, they are there, they are practicing for their exams. I want to be there. And I thank God for my husband and my family that we understand him. She will now say, oh, let's release Pastor Osa. She has to go somewhere. I just finished singing and I'm running out because I want to go and help others. And Father, I have promised this. They need me. They need me. And really, every one of them passed. And I just like, you know, some of them, they remind me today, and I think I forget. Also, I don't remember. You came all the way and you were telling us, this is what you should do. The practical, because the practical section and everything else, I, which mm, I didn't really know about. And we just tried to learn it on the, on the job. But when I passed, I remembered, I told everyone, everything that you need to do, this is how you do it. Handle it as if you are really sure of what you're doing. Don't make, be confident. And I'm happy not one not two several of them that passed i will leave on a sunday i said father please i need to this is the only day they can do they love them we're walking i will leave church and somebody is honoring me today i'm giving me an award on and you know god so i'm thinking god they are marrying what this award they said no 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 these things you have done we are recognizing it and we are giving you a word i said the main award is from god and i'm happy that God has used me and is still using me now to be a blessing. 
there are some other courses I've done now. They are still calling me. I said, look, you will not leave me alone. And I'm telling them, look, this is how you do it. And you will pass it. So whatever it is in your hand, I just want to encourage us today. God has empowered us in so many ways. What is that thing, that talent you know? Somebody needs to, 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 to have it. Please, let's reach out. Let's reach out. Is it in our wealth, in our health, wisdom, understanding? Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. And they said, like I preached last Sunday, of the understanding the times and the seasons. The Holy Spirit just to remind me of the sons of Issachar. He said they had understanding of the times and they told Israel what to do. What if they had the understanding and they kept it to themselves? You know that their wisdom increased as they were saying it, as they were being a blessing to others. Those days in primary school, we used to, like, when you're doing an exam, you cover your paper. If you see me, I build the, like, a, a paper covering. You are writing, you are writing. But that's the exam. Even before the exams, whatever we know, we say, oh, no, no, so that you can come out first. <laughs> but that's not what God wants us to do at this time and age. Don't say, oh, maybe, you know, how much are they going to pay me for that? There are, some, yeah, there are some things that you need to give that, okay, people go, they pay and all of that. But there are some advice. There are some things God has blessed us with. Let's open up. Let's be a channel, as the man of God told us yesterday. I'm, I wrote in my book, let's, be, let's not be pawns. Pawns smell. Pawns just continue to get, get, get. I went, when we went to Israel a few years ago, I saw the Dead Sea. It was like, it was actually very dirty. So many, they said, because the Dead Sea, because nothing it doesn't have it it doesn't flow to other places things have been dumped in it it's been dumped in the dead sea why do they call it dead? dead because it's not a channel it's not a river please let's be let's be channels so that when the the, the, the the word of god when things are flowing to us we are constantly fresh we are constantly receiving in the name of jesus and the man of god called it um he illustrated it with a, a host I, like when you're a host for, for maybe uh, for the garden where you're using to water things and all of that the water passed through it the water things so it's a channel so it's constantly been with water except when it's turned off hallelujah Amen. God has brought us into a wealthy place a supernatural empowerment from god so to be blessed that means you are empowered god has empowered us what is that thing god has empowered you with that he wants you to go and reach out to other people. Let's not be pawns. Hallelujah. That we will be a channel of blessing to others. And the man of God said it yesterday. He said, that blessing that God is blessing is not for you. Because, oh, yes, I have it all now. Father, thank you. Okay, let me sit down and relax. And my soul be happy. Like that rich, young, rich fool that the Bible says it. Oh, my soul, he built bands, he, 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 he enlarged this place. Yes, my soul, relax and be happy. I'm going to say that thing, you're going to, your, your soul is going to be needed today. Whose own is going to be? Because you are not a channel. You are not blessing others. The thing I've given you, this blessing I've given unto you, you are not, you are not, you are not getting it to others. So let's be flowing streams, brethren, who is constantly getting fresh water because we are flowing flowing flow you see the fountain you know water is constantly on the fountain when, when i look at so some places we travel to and all of that the beautiful scenery i'm just like this thing is just overflow this is this thing has been there for years it just constantly flows let's be channels of blessings flowing stream what is asking us today what is that in your hand what have i blessed you with use that give use that talent to my ability in, in, to, in your ability to bless others Let's learn to the Lord for greater blessings. How do we learn to the Lord? Because we don't see, it says the people that you see, that's God. God is not coming for help to say, okay, you, okay, physically. No, no, no. What we do to others. Hallelujah. I just want to charge us today. Thank God for, for most of us here, we're already doing that. Let's keep at it. Let's not grow weary. Uh, since I've started uh, helping people, what have I got from it? <laughs> God is a rewarder of them that yeah, this is the, he's, the, he, he's the one that blesses his people it might not be in that particular thing you want oh maybe i need that cash oh god i bless this person some of us we tie the blessings to things fine 
but it might not come in that way. Don't be disappointed. Lord, I'm giving to this person because I want you to bless me with so and so and so and so and so. Hallelujah. A lot of us have tied, okay, this your offering now tied. Yes, it's fine. But what if it doesn't come like that? Just know that God is still in the process of blessing us. Hallelujah. Blessing us, there's no failure in any Christian. God is a multi-dimensional God, as this minister reminded of yesterday, is a progressive God. And then we talked, he talked about um, the temptation of Jesus in Matthew 4. He said, if you can think, if you set down to this, if you can turn these stones into bread. So it was as if you do this thing for yourself. That was like a selfishness, he said. It's like a corruption. So what is corruption? Me, myself, and I. I've done it in and you know, when they say bribery and corruption. So I want to, 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 to take care of myself. Jesus could have easily done that. But it wasn't for himself. It was for some form other people. Hallelujah. And that thing blessed me yesterday. I was like, wow. I, have not, I didn't see it like this before. No, you consume it. No, no, no. My talents and my abilities is not for me. So when he fed the, the, the 5,000, the 4,000 liter, you see that, yes. This is what I have been called to do. It says, let them sit down the multitude. He said, but we don't have enough to feed this world. No, no, no. We have. And that was when he multiplied the food. But his time here was saying, you eat for yourself. No. God he said, no, no, my blessings are for you to reach out to others. So when he fed the 5,000, he was reaching out to them. He was, he, was, he was like, yes, this is what God has told me to. I'm blessed to be a blessing. Hallelujah. We're getting something today. We cannot, we cannot be Christians and be selfish. And of God said, whatever it is, let's, let's reach out. Amen. You see how Abraham was blessed later in life. He was a man of blessing. Even with his, 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 the nephew. He said, no, you choose first. He would have been, no, I'm the senior. But he said, no, you go. And all through his life, God blessed him. Even when he made mistakes, God blessed the mistake. Hallelujah. Because God has said, I will bless you. God is the God of his words. He's the God of his words. Let's learn to trust this God and believe him totally. Says the Bible says, he that watereth will be watered. I want to pray tonight. Father, help us to be channels of blessings unto you, Lord. Grace mm -hmm. totally to you, Lord. That what we, the, you know, to you totally to you in the name of Jesus. Now we will know that Father, and what we don't lose, we will lose everything that we have for God. So, so I'm so happy today. I will have been a blessing. I can say, okay, yes, this was all oh, you are my mentor in those things, in my professional times and all of that. And up to today, I'm happy. Anybody calls me off, yeah, this is what I did. Even the ones that are doing the exam from Nigeria now, they're still calling me. I said the whole thing has changed, but I will link you up. So I've been able to link them up. The people that are doing the exams now is entirely different from what we, have, we did in our own time. But I know of those that have passed and they have come in here and I've linked them up with them. And I'm happy that I'm still doing that. Even if I don't, the, the, the criteria they're using now doesn't meet up, but I know that, oh yes, I've heard about somebody. So please, can you speak to this person? Can I give her your, your, your number to you and all of that? And that is it. And I pray God continue to use every one of us with that, those things that he has put on, the talents and giftings that he has, he has put in, uh, in us in the name of Jesus. As I round mm -hmm. up today, we pray. Whatever we make happen to others, as God says, God will make happen to us. And I pray that God will, will fulfill his desires, his words concerning our lives, and that we will not hold back, that our hands will continually be open to be a blessing to others. It will not be that that rich young fool that has, he, he, he gathered enough. God blessed him so much. He said, now nah, my soul, relax and just enjoy. Enjoy me, myself, and I. No, no, no. And the joy that he said, he said, Jesus first, yourself last, others in between. And let's get that joy and blessings of the Lord in our lives. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We bless your holy name. That God, you will help us. You will use us to your glory. Your name alone will be always be glorified in our lives. In the name of Jesus. That you have blessed us, O oh God. You will be a blessing to others. In the name of Jesus. Lord, our hands will not be tight. We will not be tight, we said, O oh God. We want to get blessed, then reach out. 
reach out. And when you say, I don't have enough, that little that you think you have, please reach out to others. You will see how much God will, God will bless and use you. At times, so many little, little things that you think you do. And the way people will come back and start appreciating you, you'll be wondering, well, I don't, what, what did I do here? What, 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 what did I, you know, what have I given out? The time. I've seen some people, they say, oh, I traveled across that to go and visit somebody. It was somebody that just gave birth or somebody that is even ill. Just to go and sit with them alone. That is the, you are being, you are blessing somebody. Don't think, oh, what have I done? It's only money. No, 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 no. It's not just the money. The effort, the time you take to reach out to people, to be a blessing. Please don't take it for granted. Some people say, oh, until I have this big thing, until I, I really get a lot of wealth, even that one pound, that thing that you think, oh, it goes a long way. It goes a long way. So please, as charged us to we are blessed to be a blessing. Let's continue to reach out and, 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 and embrace this. We have something in our hands. Nobody is born without a talent. God did not born, did not give birth to any entities. We all have talents and abilities. Just for us to now reach out, pray. If you think you don't have any talents, Father Lord, what have you given to me? What have you given to me? Those days I used to think I don't have any talents. But anytime I go to some place, do you know you light up this place with your smile? I'm thinking, smile. Yes, anytime we are we are here, we just want to have you around because you're always smiling. Oh, there was a day I went to the office and I was smiling. Oh, the lady was, at least there's somebody smiling here. So I was like, what's going on? I said, yeah, everybody has been so gloomy and all of that. I said, no, I don't do gloom. I don't do that. I smile and all of that. That's a blessing. I just want to speak to you. So no, I didn't want to talk to anybody. I just wanted to hear your voice. I just wanted to hear that laughter and all of that. Those little, little things. And I used to think, oh, what's that? But it's blessing people. Yeah. To take it today that whatever it is, you have been blessed to be a blessing. You have been blessed. And I pray that we will not hold those blessings. I pray we will not become pawns or like the Dead Sea that's just giving, giving, taking, taking, taking. And you are not reaching out in the name of Jesus. That's mm -hmm. what I want to do. Give me, give me, give me, give me. Ah, bless me, bless me, bless me. But when are you going to reach out to others? With the little things you think you have. That's why at times when they, when they reach out, maybe from back home Africa, I said, do you know you can also be a blessing to others? If I bless you with this thing now, how are you a blessing to others? All these things you are selling now, things you say, oh, we did this thing. Are you able to reach out? At least a neighbor in your community there that I think is a, once in a while, give them something as well. Yeah, one was like, okay, okay, I'll be doing that. No, you don't always have for things. You are calling people abroad. Why are you blessing others? It's just you, you, you. Don't you think your life is going to be always tight? I've had to speak to somebody like that before. I said, you know, these things are sending, sending, you, send you. Why are you being a channel to others? Reach out. Hallelujah. And I thank God for, the, for, for this word today. And I, and I just pray that we have received it and we will run with it in the name of Jesus. I think I would like to stop here. Amen. And God bless you all for listening. We are blessed to be a blessing. And God is in charge of our lives. He has blessed us so much. And we, he will continue to bless us in the name of Jesus as we give our time, our effort, our money to those things that he has, those, those people in our lives that we think, oh, this person does not matter enough. Oh, this person hurted me. No, let's learn to forgive and just be a blessing. Oh, they've hurt me so much. I'm just hearing that in my spirit now. I don't want to give any more because I've been burnt. God says, please don't withhold that, those blessings. Whether you have been burnt or not, you can decide to say, okay, do to those people. But let, if God says to be a blessing to others, please don't hold back. Yes, some of us have been burnt in those areas that they will not turn their back and they will, they will lash you. It's like, as the Bible says, giving your pearl to the swine, the pigs. Pigs, you know, they are naturally dirty. They will mess it up and come back and, you know, put the spit or everything on, in, on you. But please, that shouldn't, that shouldn't stop us from being a blessing. 
let's remain a blessing so that we don't become pawns, so that we don't become those the, 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 like the dead sea that is just okay all the things i have i'm just going to keep to myself so that god can bless us more let the channels let the rivers that god can use in the name of jesus lord i thank you lord i bless your holy name thank you for that we have received today lord i just pray that you help us oh god you have spoken to every one of us here some people needed to hear this oh god whatever we have oh god let us not think it's only money that we can be a channel of blessing to others. Well, Father and God, in those things, oh God, that you have given unto us, those talents, those abilities, Father, in the name of Jesus, that we will never lack. Thank you, Amen. Lord. You have blessed us to be a blessing. Not the blessings for ourselves, but to be to reach out to others. And I pray today, oh God, that we begin to honor this word, oh God, begin to run with it in the name of Jesus. Just like Jesus is our role model. He didn't say, okay, I want to turn this stone into bread to, for me to eat. But when it was time to feed the hungry, the thousands, he turned it. He multiplied the food, the fish and the bread. And people had in abundance. That is the God that was said. That is the God that wants to showcase himself for us to emulate. Father, we thank you that we are your children, oh God. Help us to walk with you, Lord. Help us to walk with you in this one in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Son. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.